All right, hello there, folks. This is Sula again. You're listening to the video preview for Civ 4 AI Survivor. This is going to be game four of our opening round. Let me go ahead and load up the save game file for you so we can show the starting setup. So this is going to be another one of our seven AI games. And for this particular map, we've ended up drawing one of these uh, typical Pangeas that we have. Always need to get kind of these blobby shapes that all the AIs are close enough that they can interact with one another. And uh, we did have a request to look at the Southern Tundra. So just for those of you who had requested this, here's a quick flyby of this kind of large icy area down in the south. It's still a little bit unclear how much of a role that area plays in these maps, but uh, we did have the request to look at that territory. So there you go. All right, so what leaders do we have in this game? Well, our pool one leader that's been drawn into this match is Kublai Khan. Kublai Khan has been very successful in past years, although he has typically been kind of a leader who comes in second place, more so than a leader who comes in first place. He seems to be good enough not to be eliminated, but also doesn't outright take first place a lot of the time. But uh, his traits, the, uh, the creative trait helps him grab land. He's good at expanding, not the greatest economic leader, but good at expanding and reasonably good at warfare. And he is our pool one leader for this round. Our pool two leader, very different. Our pool two leader on the other side of the world here is Pericles, very good at cultural victories. Uh, he has kind of some of the most ideal traits for a cultural victory, philosophical creative. So it doesn't expand that well, but will put out a lot of culture. And if he's left alone, has a decent chance to just get his cities up to legendary status and win the game that way. Uh, it's not impossible to win the game by culture. We uh, nearly had a cultural victory in the most recent game. Um, so that approach is can be successful. I'll just go around with the other leaders here in the field. Here we have Ramses, who's another peaceful leader, uh, likes to build wonders, spiritual industrious, has not been a very good leader in past AI survivor history, and likely will try to be friends with Pericles. We'll see if they end up with the same religion and can become good friends in this one. Uh, the other high peace weight leader in this game is Victoria. Victoria has just fantastic traits. Financial, imperialistic, these are considered to be the two best traits for AI survivor purposes. Uh, that said, she has not done well in past seasons, so something about her personality causes her to do badly. Either that or she's just been unlucky with her starting positions. And this year, it seems like she might have a bit of a tough start because there's a lot of low peace weight AIs who are pretty close to her and will be predisposed not to like her. So let's look at those some of those AIs, shall we? Down here in the Southwest, we have Ragnar, uh, finan another financial leader, financial and aggressive. He is extremely militaristic. He is up there with like the Montezumas and the Shakas as some of the most aggressive leaders in the game. Will train a ridiculous amount of units, will attack people with them constantly, probably won't bother to spend much attention on his economy. Uh, what you see is what you get. He's a militaristic leader, pretty simple. Then over to his east is Saladin. Saladin is not nearly as aggressive. He's basically kind of like your generic uh, religious AI. Uh, prioritizes religion, will almost certainly found one because he starts with mysticism tech. Emphasizes religion heavily. Has kind of a dose of militarism as well, but mostly religion plus military. Uh, pretty straightforward. Saladin is not terrible as an AI, not great as an AI, somewhere in between. And then over here, last but not least, we have Hannibal. Hannibal is yet another financial leader. We have three of them in this game. Financial, charismatic, low peace weight, pretty aggressive, certainly above average on the aggression scale, but also pretty good economically as well. That can be one of the more dangerous setups for these games. Someone who's willing to go to war, willing to fight, but is also decent on the economic side of the game as well. Obviously having the financial trait never hurts in that regard. So this game will be a week from as I record this message. It will be taking place on June 19th. 2020, Friday, June 19th, uh, at our normal start time, which is noon Eastern. We run a picking contest for these games. If you're watching this video, you probably know that already. The picking contest is linked underneath the video, and, uh, and there's much more information there if you follow the links. So, uh, hope you guys are enjoying yourselves, whatever time of the week that might be, and I hope that we'll catch some of you for AI Survivor Game 4. See you guys soon. Take care.